David Copperfield actually gave the Statue of Liberty back after he made it disappear. The real dark side, these magicians will disappear with your money forever. And uh, I don't know if I should say, but it was very intricate. <laughs> Find what you think is a perfect supplier on Alibaba. You wire the money, weeks go by, you hear nothing back. So you decide to go visit your factory. You fly to China, get to the address, and what do you find? No actual building, no staff, no CEO. Nothing but a PO box with a smiley face on it. What just happened? A factory can't just vanish into thin air, right? Unfortunately, kind of can. For those of you who've already eaten the bullet and had to give up on their dreams, I'm sorry. For those of you who are just getting ready to manufacture a unique product, listen closely. The typical concern with Alibaba is the fact that international trading over software adds an unnecessary layer of complexity and cost. But the real dark side is the risk of fraud or maliciousness from dishonest trading companies. It's relatively easy for a trading company to set up a fake profile and disappear with your money once you've wired it over. This can be especially devastating for entrepreneurs who have invested significant time and resources in developing their products. I'll give you a quick anecdote from my life. Once I started learning Chinese, I found Alibaba. And I was amazed at the ability. Now every entrepreneur knows about Amazon. Every entrepreneur knows about Alibaba. It's almost cliche, right? You're getting ads every day on YouTube of people telling you that you can start a business. Sure, you could. It's a little late. But 10 years ago, it was brand new right? It was just starting to gain traction. And because I already spoke Chinese, I think I was a little bit more, you know, more in the trenches and hearing about stuff like this a little bit easier. My friend and I were in college. Everyone's partying. Everyone's trying to figure out new businesses. We were all very excited and looking for ideas for a startup. I got on Alibaba and I found a, a manufacturer in China who was selling bombs, big, intricate glass pieces. I thought that's perfect, right? They're so cheap. They're, you know, it's something that everyone on a college campus would probably want. Let's go for it. Talk to them, negotiate out the MOQ for five pieces because they were, as I said, very intricate um, products and got all the bank information, went to the bank. We were like two kids, so excited, went to the bank, wired this money internationally, right? Like we're some big businessmen, get back and we're just waiting. A day goes by, we didn't hear back. A week goes by, we didn't hear back. Two weeks go by, we didn't hear him back. At this point, I think we, it was pretty clear um, that something had happened that was malicious on the other side. And you know what happened is we never heard from him again. That money vanished across the across the world, vanished, and for at least a month or two, completely took away all of our ambition to start a business while we were at school. It was pretty devastating. Fortunately, it was a little project and you know we're talking about $500. But I hear all the time about people sending tens, maybe even hundreds of thousands of dollars, even millions. I know stories of people who have sent millions of dollars. And while for that sum of money, the, the scam is a little more intricate than two dummies buying college. But it, it's it's still a scam and it, and it probably a lot of the time is from the very outset. It's something that I think more than anything you need to be aware of. Double check, triple check, call the office, go before you pay. Figure all those things out before you're committing such a large lump of money to this project. If you're looking to outsource your manufacturing, you can avoid these risks by being careful and using common sense. Consider working with a contract manufacturer like Morpho, who has a more defined presence, not just on the internet, but an office with employees that you're more than welcome to visit. As a contract manufacturer, we have a direct connection to all of the validated members of our supply chain. So you don't need to worry about navigating the chaos of Alibaba or dealing with intermediaries or 
sourcing agents who provide no value. We take on all that responsibility of dealing with our suppliers so that you can focus on growing your business. We have a plethora of free resources with advice and warnings, just like this one over at morphomfg.com. Whether you wanna read the blogs or be spoon-fed crucial advice every morning through my five-day email series, it's all there. And remember, David Copperfield actually gave the Statue of Liberty back after he made it disappear. These magicians will disappear with your money forever with their version of the Vanishing Act. In any case, thanks for watching. Until next time, peace.